Yeah, yeah, man. Thank you for having me. This is Nicole. Basic Game Roy. She is actor. She's a boxer. She's yeah. everything. Action Barbie. First, tell us about the name. Oh my action. goodness. They call you Action Barbie. Oh, well, they call me the Action Barbie just because um, I, I, I fight, firstly. I fight. I've got um, my firearm license. I like to play with AK 47s, Glocks, 9mm, you name it. And I drive fast cars. So there's a lot of action going around and I do my own stunts and then I look like this so when I started fighting everyone it was it was meant as an insult and I thought yeah let me take this insult and I'm gonna turn it into profit you know so yeah, we built the brand around it. Uh, now you're the Barbie, the action Barbie. Yeah that's what they call me. Stunning. And you know what I'm gonna girl I'm so on brilla op it while she um, says from Joburg and that is who it means her. That's who I love P and Joburg. Stunning girl, I love it. Because I look funny cup. Because I look funny state. Ah. I'm actually from Kensington. Oh, wow. uh, I was born and raised in Kensington ah. um, and then moved up for the show about two years ago. Cool. So, yeah. So, you started law here? Yes. Who did you open in, in Joburg? I started out in, uh, in acting. I was, I was very young. I Obviously, with, with normal high school, I went to a, a school for the performing arts okay. from the age of 12. And uh, I fell in love with it and I started doing my movies then. I did Cold Harbor. Back in the day, that was a very big film that went to the Cannes Film Festival, Berlin, Los Angeles. Okay, and that was sort yes. of my breakout, so to say, yeah. when I was 15, 16. Yeah. And then um, my dance levels, my drama levels, my musical theatre levels at the time were getting so big that um, it made no sense for me to study it after school. So my parents went, okay, cool, what do you want to study? And I went, law, why not? You know? <laughs> So it's, um, and today it's, it's worked out well because even though I graduated and I don't practice, um, I write my own contracts. So, yeah. you know, I've got a very eagle eye when it comes to, I wrote my dissertation on um, the state of intellectual property in the South African media space. And that's actually proving to really help me in what I do every okay, single day. Okay, nice, stunning, yeah. wow. Yeah. Is this something you can't do? I just want to show, <laughs> what, what, tell us what the show is about. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a video. Okay. And um, tell us. Tell us what's, about, what's it about. Okay. Would it be wrong of me to want to see him suffer for abandoning me? <laughs> I guess not. Then help me. You know what Don was like, you can help me be like him and then I can get us to fall I in love. I don't know, Brandon, okay? This plan is turning out to be a lot more dodgy than I signed up for. I promised my mother I will get revenge on Chris. Hey, 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 hey. She can't hurt you anymore, okay? She's dead. She can. Before we go on, do you know that guy is born in Worcester? Yes, I do. Oh, you do know? I, do. I, I love Danny Ross. Oh, Danny okay. Ross is a champion. Okay, so you know that. Yes. I wonder if that's a skit. But this is shows now. So this was Broken Vows. This was a SAFTA nominated um, and SAFTA award winning show that was uh, is daytime ETV and is now playing on ETV Extra. Okay. Uh, yeah, on DSTV. So you shot this when? Like we when? shot this 2017 and 2018. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's when we shot this show. Um, and yeah, I mean, this was such a really cool piece because if you look at it, with this one, I worked with people that I grew up, like, oh. you know, idolizing over and wow. fangirling over. Charlene Sertie Richards, Emmanuel Castus from the Easy Dingo days, ah. the Sea of the Land days, all those wow, good things. And it was amazing. cool to sort of like, you know, stand, you know, alongside them and learn from them. And also, you know, it's, a, it's such a cool thing as an artist to watch yourself grow. And, you know, it's sort of being cast in something like this was such a hectic, like, amazing. Wow. I'm doing something dark moment. So, yeah. yeah. So then you're not just an actress, but you also a campaign girl. Yes, I am a 2019 ambassador for SHIELD, South Africa. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, big shoes to fill. Big, big shoes to fill. Yeah, I see you working with all these amazing celebrities as well. Mm. On the campaign, we've mm. got obviously yeah. Amanda Dupont, Tacky's, uh, Mops, and it's it's such a such an epic campaign and such a such a cool vibe. Yeah, around, yeah, I love this whole vibe going on. And then, but your main focus is boxing, am I right? What in terms of shield? No, in terms of of your life. See, that's that's where people sort of get it wrong because I'm not somebody that likes to post about my work a lot. You okay. know, so my social media for me is just something that I like to do. It's not promoting my, it's just what I'm doing on the day, uh, you know, and things that I enjoy. So okay. I can, I am an actress. I just happen to have hobbies that are very fitness related. Okay. So I, I like to think of it as the equivalent of, you know, how some of our brothers or our uncles, they, they have their nine to fives. Yeah. And then after work, they go play soccer, you know, at, at the club or what, whatever the case may be. Okay. And they have their matches on a Saturday. It's, that's the equivalent of boxing and fighting for me. At least. Okay. Yeah. And then how many times a week do you, do you train? Who get a vehicle for me? Guys, I wish you could see all these muscles. I don't know so, if you can. So, um, in a week, 
Mm. How many sessions? <laughs> Maybe 20. I'm training about twice a day. Twice two, four, a day. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. No, 14 sometimes I'll, I'll try for three. So, yeah. Yeah, no. But the drug is Jay on it. High on life and high on purpose, you know? Uh, mm. uh, uh, <laughs> and then you said, act, okay, I also want, I, I always wondered, like, okay, so what does Nico really do? Mm. Um, so, so acting is your main thing. Yeah. So, so what, what is your dream, the dream job that you would want to do? In Goodness. Future? So, for for me, mm. I'm very much in the space that I enjoy. So, I want to tell South African stories. I think representation is important. I think portraying coloured, re, re, coloured representation within itself is important. So, I want to stick to what I'm doing right now, which is daytime soapies showing other girls who look like us who are 12 yeah, years old yeah. we don't you know we we struggle to fit in somewhere so for me when i was watching tv and i saw people who looked like me on tv when she can do it i can do it and that is all the validation i need so i'm very comfortable in my space right now yeah. um i don't have that sort of oh hollywood oscar i really want to make a difference in the country yeah. that i was okay. born in and yeah i was born here for a reason and i want to make a difference here. stunning yeah i have to ask this okay mm. are you are you single you're single, right? You're still single. I am. Nice, good stuff. I just <laughs> now we'll get to that. Um, guys in the audience, please don't get excited. Um, <laughs> so, do you think that that men in general, men uh, get intimidated by successful, independent, um, strong women like us? Not the type of men that I'm into. No. Oh yes, honey, preach. <laughs> <laughs> Not the type of men I'm into. Yeah, I see a tip in it. No, no, no. Uh, okay, now that's good. Tell us, tell us about your type. Do you oh. have a type? Okay, I think your type is the the dark chocolate big bold guy. Yes, I definitely like a bit of Dwayne Johnson, Vin Diesel, Steez. It's, de it's important to me not just to keep in shape for the uh, body spec, but obviously uh, aesthetics count. But um, it's all about. You know, is somebody investing that time in themselves and self-care and self-love? Because yes, you yes. can't love me if you don't love yourself. Yeah. Um, so very much somebody with purpose who okay. knows what they want in life. Yeah. It's very driven. That's my kind of guy. Yeah. I can pick you up with one hand, you know, that type of vibes. Mm. Stunning. <laughs> <laughs> can we just get so we're gonna play like a quick this or that? Okay. Um, you have Ooh. to choose. Okay. And you have to give a reason why you choose that one. So you have to choose between two guys and then you, you, you tell me why. Because the, I think South Africa would just like to, to get to know you better and you okay. know, especially your type and yeah. So okay. you have to choose one. I have to choose. Yeah. Death is not an option. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right now. Casper or hey. AKA? Casper. Why? He's into fitness and he's into privacy. And he doesn't blast his exes on social media. Sorry, Auntie Lana, no, that's your son. Stunning. I like his, I, I love AKA. Stunning. <laughs> I love, I, I think I also love Casper. You know? I don't really know. Do you know him though? No. Have you met him? I know, I've not met I've not met Casper. Okay, Kasper. okay, we, we, we'll both still meet him. Okay, next. <laughs> Would you go for Mups or Trevor Noah? Ooh. Um, I know Mops and we're actually very good friends, so okay. I'm gonna go with Trevor on this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Trevor on this Why one. Why would you say Trevor? I don't know, I like a man who can make me laugh. Oh yes. Yeah. And he is funny in there, but he's also sexy man. Oh, that's right. You know, he's not, he's not corky mm, funny. You understand? Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a sexy funny. I think like Mops, how, how easy is he? Oh no, he's, he's a, a nice gentleman. Guy. He uh, is a gentleman. He looks like one yeah, no, man. He's cool, down to earth mm. guy, really cool, mm. dope dude. Only from it's a hard and Next. <laughs> Cedric Furi or Vuyo Tabula? Ooh, um, I'd go with Cedric. Why? He's a great actor, great artist, and like, yeah. I thought you were gonna say Vuyo because I think I saw him in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. He he trained someone that boxes. Do you he know does? that? I don't. I didn't oh. know that. I didn't know that, but I would definitely go with Cedric. For Cedric. Yeah. Okay, so he's a great actor. Yeah. And he's cute, eh? Yeah, that smile is amazing. Wow, perfect teeth and all. <laughs> right, though, thank you so much. Now, uh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> now, it, we're going to play a game called Five Second Rule. So they will count it off. You have five seconds to answer because if I give you more time, you are going to lie. Okay. So I'll say 
Give me three things that you watch regularly. Pretty Little Liars, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and anything on MTV. I like, I like nonsense, guys. I love nonsense. My days are so hectic. I love nonsense. Why am I seeing you on MTV? Why didn't you start doing a show there? I don't know. They must call me. Mm. Um, ha. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool. great stuff. Right, next question. Three things you love about your body. <laughs> my smile, um, I pay attention to my legs at the gym, and these hands. Okay, I thought you were going to say ass. My ass? Uh, don't you love your ass? I don't know, I don't look at it as much. <laughs> <laughs> oh so man, ass. I'm so scared, okay. Okay, three things you would say um, if you should lose something. This one's easy, I never lose. Wow, just give my way. I thought she prepared or she saw the question. Did you see the question? No, I'm not. I'm no. not. But I don't okay. lose. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Three words to describe Shika. Fun, exotic, outrageous, amazing, one of my favorite human beings. Oh. <laughs> she's just saying it because she's on the show, guys. No, I'm anyway. just saying that because I know she must still edit this thing. Um, <laughs> I'll use all your bad angles. Oh my okay. goodness. Lastly, uh -huh. no, second last question. Mm. Three things you would say if you if you see your ex in the mall in the street, what would you say to him? Three things. Boy, bye, please. <laughs> you really an actor? Ah, okay, okay, give me a moment. Okay. Shame, I hope your ex not gonna watch this, no? Okay, let's go on. Lastly, three things that make you cry. My family, uh, my friends, and really happy moments make me cry. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. That's cute. Thank you, Nicole, for coming all the way from Joburg <laughs> to Shika show. Yeah, wow, thank you for having me. Amazing. I'm, I'm so impressed with this. I can't wait to see Jesus, this entire season. You, man. Yeah, um, you're, doing, you're doing some epic, epic things. And big up to you for being a woman of color in this game. It's hard, it's tough. We don't like our own people sometimes. We can't support our own people. Mm. But um, you've got me in your corner. But man. that's what I love about you. You've been supporting me throughout my journey. Yeah. So thank you. Cool. Um, and thank you to the audience for coming out, Nicole. Where can the we can South Africa see you stalk you <laughs> so I'm available on Facebook Twitter and Instagram uh, at Nicole underscore basic thank you so much cool. thank you I love this girl and then please catch me next week on Sheikah's Closet now the outro yeah the show makes me nervous eh? I'll ask you if you want to say something okay so let's just do like a we can they catch one circle okay show, yeah okay Oh, is there any last words? Okay. What, 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 any last words? <laughs> okay. It was just nice to have you, it's fine. <laughs>